From my visit to the Bearpaw Battlefield, I drove south into the Judith Mountains, an island mountain range that shoots skyward from the surrounding plains. Formed from lava rock folded upward by the Earth's crust 58 million years ago, the Judith Mountains are home to beautiful quartz deposits called Montana Diamonds. After spending the night in the mountains, I passed several old abandoned homesteads. Much of Montana was included as homestead country for settlers, and if you drive through Montana, you'll see countless beautiful examples of the old houses decaying away into the plains. All right, well, got my uh, silly hat on and I'm currently in a place I'm really stoked to film. So I got my undergrad by Bozeman, Montana about, oh God, eight years ago. <laughs> and uh, one of the most amazing places by Bozeman is this area called High Lake Canyon. And it's just basically world famous for its recreation. And so basically through today, I'm gonna be going by some of the trail systems, do some filming with the camera, do some filming with the drone, and just kind of wander this place and see some of the amazing, awesome things that High Lake Canyon offers. So I'm pretty stoked, come join me. To step into the Gallatin Range in Western Montana is to walk into truly wild mountain country where grizzly bears and wolves can be found walking the same trails you follow. Breathing the mountain air is always a striking experience, particularly in the cold. It has a crispness that I've experienced nowhere else. The snow-capped peaks by Bozeman are truly remarkable remind me of why my home state is such a profound treasure. After flying my drone above the valley, I continued down the trail into the close canopy of the alpine forests. Trails in the mountains sometimes hold secrets, like a glacial rock that over the decades has been carved by passersby. There was something profound about seeing history rock. Humans have painted and carved on stone for tens of thousands of years, and it is clear to me that that primal connection still held in this piece of Bozeman granite. With road construction on the road deeper in the canyon, I spent some time exploring the beautiful Hyalite Reservoir.
enormous beauty can be found when you take to the skies. to be in an area that I spent so much time in and meant so much to me at a point in my life when I had first discovered wildlife biology as a career path. And I've been just kind of pondering eight years later the amount of places that I've seen and the things that I've done and the having discovered this channel of wonderlust and this ability to explore places and bring the nature of that place to you. It feels really, really good to have explored a place that meant so much to me a time ago and just to kind of ponder back and think of the things that I've done and where I've been. It's uh, quite, quite grateful to see it and quite, quite grateful to have brought the wonder of Highlight Canyon and the area by Bozeman to your screens. Well, I'm at the Madison Valley Buffalo Jump. This is a really, really amazing place that helped me sort of get started on filmmaking and exploring the natural world on Wonderlust almost exactly one year ago. I have not acclimatized elevation. <laughs> I'm disturbingly out of breath. Anyway, I'm really excited to go out here because it really is a, such an amazing place for native peoples for many thousands of years have used eclipse on this site to be able to hunt bison prior to the time of the arrival of horses in the Americas. So I'm going to hike up to the Buffalo Jump and film the surrounding areas and help you experience what an amazing place this is. Before horses were introduced to North America, bison were hunted by Plains tribes using Buffalo Jumps like that found at the Mazin Valley. With the intense cold winds gusting to 65 miles an hour, it felt like an ancient place with deep-rooted connections to the creatures of an ancient world. Through the centuries, many tribes would camp at the base of these cliffs, preparing for the bounty that the hunt would bring. For miles, using their knowledge of bison behavior, hunters would dress as pronghorn or other plains animals to exploit the bison's sense of curiosity and put the herd on the move towards the cliffs. As the herd began moving towards the cliffs, more hunters wearing wolf pelts would arrive, causing unrest in the herd and speeding their movements. bison were near the edge, the rear hunters would spring towards the bison, causing panic and creating a stampede. As the bison hooves created a thunderous roar, animals at the front of the herd began to fall off the hidden cliffs. Others would have seen the fate of those who led the way, but would regardless get pushed forward by those gathering from behind. Below, the other tribe members would wait for the fallen feast, and when the stampede was through, butcher the carcasses brought to the ground. Nearly every part of the bison was used to survive the rugged plains life. In places like the Madison Valley Buffalo Jump, the past feels vividly alive. Standing on the cliffs, I could feel the ancient herds that have long since been driven from the land, but I was grateful to relive those events in the mind for a time. 